Well, it's Thanksgiving again. I'm giving thanks for you. I always give thanks for you. That's the truth. Well, I appreciate that, my love. But today, you know, it is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Yes. And of course, Mama does a lot of the cooking for our family feast. You do. And I'm going to make ahead a few things today. Starting with the stuffing. <laughs> you know that's not what you're making. I am making Dottie Romano's famous family stuffing from Queens, New York. <clears throat> but let's examine the situation for just a minute because... What is there to examine? It's stuffing. <laughs> no, no. Is this going inside a turkey? Simple yes or no question. Simple yes or no will be fine. Matter of fact, let's pretend that we're in a court of law at the moment. Yes or no? Well, you're a turkey, so yes. I'm I'm prosecuting you right now. <laughs> I'm prosecuting you. There is no prosecution. Yes or no? Yes. It is going inside a turkey. <laughs> I do not have a label that says turkey. That's debatable. <laughs> well, no. You're, you're missing you're missing your words right now. Uh, Phineas agrees. So, permission to treat you as a hostile witness. Okay. So. Okay, this is not the court of law. <laughs> I'm holding court right now. No, 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 no. I'm holding court right now. We're holding court together. Uh -huh. But I am prosecuting this case. And I'm making the case for dressing. And I'm making the case for stuffing. No, no. So, literally, do you have a bag with you? Do you have a bag? Yes, I do. Show me the bag, please. I have, I have Exhibit A and Exhibit B. All right. Thank exhibit you. A, stove top stuffing. Correct. What else do you have? But wait there? a minute. But wait a minute. On the back of the box, it's in a dish. <gasps> Okay, exhibit yeah. B. Herb seasoned classic stuffing. Right. But, wait, 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 Hold wait. on, but then the, to prepare it your way, you can say it can be prepared in a casserole. Yes. Or in a bird or on top of the stove, which means either, any way you prepare it, it is stuffing. Nope, and you're wrong, and here's how we know this. Okay, <laughs> no. oh, you're wrong. It's exhibit A and exhibit B. Okay. I submit these into evidence. <laughs> okay. So, exhibit A and B, these are stuffing mixes. Oh, did you hear that? Stuffing mixes. This is a mix, which means it's not technically stuffing. It's a stuffing mix. But if, no, no, no. no, no. What I, you're making with the stuffing mix is stuffing. You can't interrupt me in the middle of my of my soliloquy here because what I am saying is a soliloquy now. And here's the thing. You're interrupting and you did not even object. Objection, you're not honor. Objection overruled. So here we go. <laughs> so if you take stuffing mixes and you've got a whole slew of ingredients over there. Right, we're gonna talk about Guess that. what you're fixing to do with all those ingredients? You're adding those ingredients to the stuffing mixes. Guess what technically that is? You, in the South, which is where you are, you dressed up the stuffing, which means you made it dressing. No. No, you did, you did, plus, what happened? Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah. People say, oh, you have to have stuffed it in a bird for it to be stuffing. Yeah. Hold on a minute. What are we doing when we're eating our Thanksgiving dinners? We are stuffing our faces. I'm not stuffing mine. I'm just feeding my face. Okay, well... I digress. I believe we are all stuffing our faces. I digress. You're okay. Wrong. Wait, wait. There's more. Okay. <laughs> no. 
At the end of the Thanksgiving meal, what do we all feel? We feel stuffed. What do we do to go eat Thanksgiving? We get dressed up. You say that if that what what do we do to um for Thanksgiving dinner we get dressed up. Okay, well in this house we don't get dressed up. We wear t shirts and jeans and and after cooking all day I ain't dressing up, I'm sorry. So <clears throat> calling it dressing because you're getting all dressed up does not fly in my court. Well, in your court, your court would be wrong. Your court doesn't follow the law. That's the problem. You're kind of a rogue court. I'm not real sure who's, what law you're following. I'm but. following the law of the South. Okay. Which is, well, for this recipe, I'm following the law of Dottie Romano. Romano? Romano. Here's the thing. You took her recipe and you moved south of the Mason-Dixon line, which means... It now becomes de facto dressing. I don't think she would approve. She would beat you with her shoe. I would allow her to beat me with her shoe, even though she could, she could just sit there in her wrongness and be wrong. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know anyone and who I don't know anyone who would wrong. tell Dottie Romano that she was wrong. <laughs> so. First of all, would she hit a guy with glasses? And two, would she hit a minister? She would take off her slipper and beat you. <laughs> okay, so it is up to y'all to tell us. Oh, see, now I'll go, I'll go Southern now. It is up oh, to y'all to tell us. It is it dressing or is it stuffing? Ing. Stuffing. So, what do y'all call it? Because this has gone on long enough. I just went on way too long already because I've already. Is said it. it Stuffing, or is it dressing? dressing? That still says stuffing. I know what it says, but it's dressed up with all kinds of ingredients. Okay, well. And you made it dressing. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna make stuffing. <laughs> and it is a longtime family recipe from my mother-in-law. Uh, long story short, <laughs> Dottie is my former husband's mother. You've seen him in all our videos. John is our is our daughter Emily's dad. What's up, John? My oh boy. <laughs> and we are all very close friends uh, since the death of our daughter, and he now lives in Tennessee. And we're all just we're all just a big family. And actually, the stuffing is one of his favorite things at uh, Thanksgiving, and it is also one of his favorite things. He just refuses to call it by his its right name. So. I actually call it by its proper name, which is dressing, so it's fine. Okay, well, let's get on with the stuffing. Let's get on with the dressing. We hope you'll join us after <laughs> all of this madness, because it is a good recipe. Let's do it. <laughs> So what you're going to need for Donnie Romano's, the family stuffing, is three bags of Herb Season Classic Stuffing Mix, a bunch of parsley, celery, sausage, three onions, a stick of butter, a pound of chicken livers, a tablespoon of poultry seasoning, and two 32 ounce boxes of chicken broth so that is what is going to make the famous stuffing or is it dressing hmm i guess we'll let you all decide let's go ahead and get our onions chopped up as well as our celery And chop up that parsley okay I have my onion and celery chopped up and put in a bowl and I've got my parsley put in a bowl and we're gonna head over to the stove and cook up the chicken livers and the sausage and then we're gonna assemble the stuffing all right just like that with TV magic we are over here 
at the stove. I've got my frying pan set on about a six, a little bit of a medium high heat. I'm throwing my pound of pork sausage, recipe called for pork sausage. Uh, this is southern. I'm using Swaggerty's, so Brooks will love that. And a pound of chicken livers. Now, we're going to get that in the pan, and then I'm going to use my meat chopper to chop in a kind of a, make it into a paste. The original recipe, Dottie's recipe, calls for you to cook these separately and throw them into a food processor to make them into a paste. But, I have kind of developed my own method of Dottie's recipe following the same ingredients and have found, have found that this method works just as well. And I know that hers was written before we had the handy dandy meat chopper. She would have loved a meat chopper. Dottie is my girl's grandma and we were all very close uh, when she was, was living and many, many, many fun memories and many holidays at the Romano household. And she'd be up early making the turkey and the stuffing and probably a hundred other sides because of an Italian family. Let me tell you, the food. But as you see, I'm chopping this up. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video while I chop this up and bring you back to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay guys, as you can see meat is definitely done and what I've done is I've basically just used my meat chopper to to mince this this meat uh, the sausage meat and the chicken livers uh, almost into a it's not a paste but it's just really finely finely there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty the meat into my big big bowl my big yellow bowl that has a story as well. And let it cool while I do the veggies uh, here in the pan. So I'll bring you right back. Okay, so what I have done is I have added a stick of butter to my pan. Uh, now, the original recipe, actually, she takes all of the veggies as well as the ground meat and chicken livers sausage and chicken livers and she actually purees it all together in a food processor. Um, I don't do that because <laughs> uh, I just don't feel it's necessary. I remember she would do that because uh, some of the family did not like the chunks of celery. So she did not pre-cook her veggies. Um, they would all be pureed. Um, so I do just a little bit different but the end result is the taste in my opinion and um, John has always said it's just like his mother's since I've been making it and so there it is so we're gonna get these veggies sauteed until they're translucent we will come back and throw the stuffing or whatever you call it, dressing together. I still call it stuffing. All right, friends, the celery, butter, and onion is pretty well done. Um, it will bake some in the oven, so you don't want to you don't want to overcook it. Uh, if you saw just a moment ago, I was using the meat chopper 
in the veggies and basically if you don't cut your veggies up as fine as you would like them you can use that to make them even finer and so that's what I did instead of using a food processor I just sort of did the manual method and to me that works just as well so I'm gonna cut these off and we're gonna take it and put it in the pan and mix it up with the meat and I will show you the rest of the recipe Alrighty, so we have made our sausage and our chicken livers and got those to a really nice fine consistency. You can do the food processor method if you want to. Uh, that is up to you. I, will, I choose not to just because I don't, I don't personally see the difference. If your family is sensitive to um, a little bit of onion or celery, uh, you know, the texture, then you might want to do that. But either way, it is the best stuffing you're ever gonna eat. All right, so I basically needed to let this cool off. So I'm giving it a little bit of a stir to, to cool it off a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in my seasonings. So I've got poultry seasoning, and the recipe calls for about a a tablespoon. I'm not really a measurer, but in my world, that's about a tablespoon. So we're gonna put that in there. Now this bowl, I think everybody has the old yellow Tupperware bowl, don't they? It's like from the from the, from the eighties. My little behind used to get a bath in this bowl, and when my mom passed. I wanted the yellow bowl because she we make our family fruitcake in this bowl uh, it's become my stuffing bowl but you just need a big bowl okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my salt and pepper which I forgot to get so your salt and pepper is to taste I use a grinder so I'm gonna actually just put about 15 or so grinds of each That's kind of a, for me, for a big recipe, that's kind of my standard number. You can always add more as you taste. Of course you should always taste. This is not a very peppery dish, so you don't really need to add a lot of pepper. But pepper's always good for bringing out those flavors. Now, I'm going to dump in our parsley because it's going to wilt and cook in there. And it's also going to help cool down my meat. Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving. <laughs> How's it smell in there? Isn't that some good smell and stuffing? Your dressing smells incredible. It's not my dressing. It's Dottie's stuffing. Didn't you say you dressed it up? I didn't say nothing about dressing anything up. Oh, uh, you changed the thing, so you dressed No, it up. I didn't change anything. Alrighty. Now, we're going to add one bag of our stuffing mix. This is not the cornbread stuffing mix. This is the white and wheat bread blended with herbs and spices stuffing mix. It's Pepperidge Farm. You can buy whatever kind you want. The Aldi brand or um, off-brand ones work just fine. Or if you're ambitious and you want to make your own breadcrumbs, be my guest. Y'all invite me over because I'd like to taste it. I said y'all while I'm making stuffing. Maybe I'm confused. I think Brooks would agree. All right. One more bag. This makes a lot. And this bowl will be very full. You could half it if you'd like. But while I mix in the, uh, while 
I mix in all the breadcrumbs, uh, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so that you don't have to be bored by the mixing of the breadcrumbs. before we put it in the pan and this is the part where you might want to get the kids involved if you've got kids around we're gonna dump in two 32 ounce boxes of chicken broth I'm using a reduced sodium chicken broth I'd rather add more than have it be too salty you can always add salt at the table your home can broth if you've got it. That will make it all the better, but this holiday I'm about easy. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention about the recipe and I did not include in the ingredients uh, earlier is four beaten eggs because that will help get it nice and fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this in a little bit here with my big Scoopy spatula. Pampered Chef people are mortified because I called it the wrong thing, but that's okay. All right, so I've kind of mixed them in a little bit. Now, this is your mixing tool, guys. It's your hands. You're gonna get in there and mush. Mush, mush, mush. Ah, it smells so good. How's it smelling there, honey? Warm. I bet you can't try wait to try this stuffing. Can't wait to see what that dressing tastes like. You already know. So this is what Emily, our daughter, and Amanda, our daughter, uh, grew up eating because Dottie was their grandma on dad's side. And so this is actually my preferred stuffing. There are lots of ways to do stuffing, but this is the way I love it. Now Brooks's, Brooks's family is of course Appalachian. They do it totally different, but his mama has not yet given me the recipe. If she, she seems to guard it and he can only go over there to get it. So I can't memorialize his family stuffing. All right, I'll call it dressing for that for that purpose because that's that's what his family calls it. All right, so I'm in here and I am mushing, mushing, mushing. I'm mushing until I basically feel that the bread has absorbed all the moisture. And it just feels, you can't really feel any of the crunchiness of the bread. And then I'm gonna pour it in pans. It's probably gonna make two pans. And bake it at 375 for 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Just get in there and mush your little heart out. Sure you get all that sausage at the bottom and all that those yummy veggies and butter. I'm making a mess, but hey, you can't really use these and not make a mess. All right, I think we're about there. Because it's kind of starting to feel goopy. If it starts to feel goopy, then you know you're good. All right, I need to wash 
my mixing utensils and then I'm gonna pan it up and put it in the oven. Okay, I have sprayed my aluminum pan so it doesn't stick. And now I'm gonna scoop the stuffing into the pan. Makes a lot. So what we usually do is we freeze a pan for Christmas and then we don't have to do double duty for the holidays because everybody knows the stuffing is the star. It's not really the turkey. Is the stuffing the star in your holiday meal? Tell us in the comments. So I'm just mushing it in there. I'm not gonna fill this pan too full because I know we're gonna end up with two pans. But there's pan number one and it's gonna go in the oven at 375 for about 35 minutes. And I love my handy dandy air fryer toaster oven. So while I am actually panning up the second one that we will freeze, I wanted to uh, tell you the actual, the final instruction on the written recipe card was to shove it in the turkey. Yep, shove it in the turkey. Uh, that was the final instruction. Um, so I guess we could call it shoving. Yeah, want some shoving? Uh, but, but honestly, Dottie would always cook some of it in the turkey and then some in a casserole. So, uh, if you cook your stuffing inside the turkey, then you definitely need to shove it in the turkey before you cook your turkey. But for us, we are putting it in a pan, which is what most people say makes it dressing but for me it's always going to be stuffing all done Well, the stuffing is done. Dressing looks good. All right. Uh, the, the thing that matters the most is that it tastes good. <laughs> it is. Would you like to try the first bite? Uh, no, you are a dressing stuffing connoisseur. Thank you for that title. <laughs> so I would like you to try it. Okay, so that is dressing, but still, that tastes so good. It's got this beautiful crust on the outside. It's just soft and just so, so good the inside. Inside is nice and moist. I was going to let you say the word. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. It's <laughs> fluffy. But... Fluffy. It's a good word. Mm. What's the secret to that? Eggs. Hmm? Eggs. I oh, see. I always thought it was the chicken liver. I hope it's eggs. <laughs> I'm going to say eggs and chicken liver. <laughs> you know, if you don't like chicken liver, don't let that sway you because I am not a chicken liver person. And I absolutely adore this. This is just, this is what Thanksgiving tastes like to me. It is so, so good. So, it really is. Tell us what you call it stuffing or dressing or maybe something different. No matter what, if you make this recipe, you're going to call it good. It is. It's so good. <laughs> All right. And regardless of anything else, we just want to say from our family to your family, happy Thanksgiving. God bless you all. And we hope that you do have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families. 
And just remember what it all is that we should be grateful for this time of year. We love y'all. Thank you guys. And of course, like and subscribe. Share the video and comment if you want to see more. We will see you after Thanksgiving. Yes. Goodbye. Yeah.